This game is a total mind fuck. Ah. <sighs> He hasn't said anything. Kind of scared. All his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I doubt it. Did I say that already? I don't when even Stanley know. Came to okay, now we're tool, going to the this right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. Yes, and Stanley we know. knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. Lovely yes. room. I love this, this room. room. But it's eager amazing. to get back to business, Stanley took the first open right. door on his left. No. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Shut up. Alright, if you're wondering why I'm doing the same thing, I'm gonna go Stanley, I up to the phone gone on the wrong foot here. and unplug it. Enemy, really, I'm not. Deny I this. That investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Your uh, chance to redeem yourself. I don't have a her in my life. To let her back into your life. Shut up. Shut She's up. She's been waiting. I don't care. I don't care. There it is. That's <laughs> her, Stanley. What's this? You need to meet to. Oh no 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 no! You can't. Did you just unplug the phone? Oh. Well, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. God, I love stumping no, him. It's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken nope. to his apartment where he finds his wife. And nope. The two pledge themselves to one another. Nope. Music comes in, fade to white, nope. no credits. Nope. So not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. Nope. How is that even possible? Nope. None of these decisions I'm amazing. were supposed to mean anything. Nope. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? Because I'm that Wait a second. great. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. What? No, I don't. I noticed it sooner. No, no, no. You're not Stanley. You're a real person. Ah! Uh? I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. So? Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? What well, situation? Well, I have that kind of risk on my watch. What? I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you what? properly on safe decision making in Whoa. the real world. No, we can't Please stop the game. This no. Instructional video. No. What? Choice. It's the best part of being a real person, but if used incorrectly, can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. Oh dear, is it 4.30? Perhaps I should do my back sack and crack. Maybe? Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, 
if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, oh, dear back. God. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Oh. Okay. Where okay, where am I where am I going? <laughs> now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine oh, come on. Imagine character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. I we believe it would. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Why not? I think reality is perfectly fine. So, I guess, uh, we're revisiting a choice for some reason. Interesting. Oh, wait, did it... No, it did not have that door open. Okay. What? Oh, Almost God. There. Oh, hold on. Take the hold door on. on the left. Mm. Ending the story mm. resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Will I? Will I? Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. But that means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Hmm. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna not do it. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Uh, um, arg, uh, arg, uh, what it? Uh, mm. Oh, oh it's you son can't of a... believe after everything we talked about that you my Oops. story you've destroyed my work. Oops. Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing sure, you every left here like so much garbage? It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? I'm Even sorry. If there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? I'm sorry. My story is now incorrect. How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'm I'll sorry. I'll have to with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I'm gonna go back. Way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To I'm gonna go back. All of I'm gonna go work? back. I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What um, do I do? Ah. No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have uh. to. I have to. Uh. I, what the flub and flurger, Flymel. Um oh, up. I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. You who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. Uh, My entire trapped. game is destroyed. It was the only I'm thing in the trapped. world that was mine and you run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? No. You just had to see? Yeah. Didn't impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley. Stanley's he boring. He knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands he's that if I say boring. Do something, there's a damn good reason for it. Because he's boring. The thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? No. That there's a world outside of you? No. You're a child. No. Oh. My story. 
If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. Would I have been? It would have been so perf, perfect. I work, work so hard, so hard, 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 hard on it, on it. I tried, tried so hard, 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 would you do um oh. when stanley okay. came to a set of two open doors he entered the door on his left i'm um, not gonna do it i'm gonna not do it not do no! it why did you do that quickly hurry back is behave exactly what uh, I think I broke it. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. Okay. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Um. Okay. Just because I almost nearly broke it. That's unusually bright. I don't think that was that bright. Yeah, there was not a single person here either. Yeah, I already Feeling did all this. Disbelief, Stanley decided to go I up to his this boss's room office, closet. hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley <laughs> walked upstairs to his boss's office. Wow, that's kind of funny. They blocked off the downstairs. There's nothing. Still nothing on the executive bathroom. Wow. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. This is a bit Surely new. behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. <coughs> was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spelled the code. <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. Night Shark 155. Right there on the wall. Oops. Night Shark. One one five. I'm sorry. Is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Uh, uh, night. Okay, night. Fine. You're not going to do it. But uh. you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. <laughs> I, I asked you for this one single <laughs> thing for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows blinks. what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come I, here? You I, had a choice, but, you know. You could I, have gone through the door on the uh, right. You could have done uh, whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? So speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. When he um, came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. What? Hello? Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I I need I need to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. What? Are you listening to me? What? Can you hear me? What? Is everything alright? Stanley, this is important. <laughs> Stanley, <laughs> you, 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 you cannot exist without you. Do you understand? Okay. 
Well, okay. So this has been another ending for the Stanley Parable. Wow. This is more important than you can ever know. Ah, oh, Jesus, that made my head hurt. Actually, kinda. That. That is one freaking crazy game. I'm here by myself, and I'm playing it this time. Wow. This game is a mind fuck. Straight up. You know, just a mind fuck of a game. Oh my god. Thank you for watching. I'm Bink Deadpool. Uh, this has been the Stanley Parable. Uh, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button at the bottom of the screen. If you really like it and want to see more, subscribe and be on the lookout for more. Until the next video. Oh my god, peace out.